Hey, it's Travis from Crew Gear Industrial Dream Supply. Making a special video for Logan, uh, Logan Young. Logan, this is for you regarding your part six um, uh, template overview. So we're going to take a quick look <clears throat> at some template shaping. Logan is doing his part six uh, uh, Freddy's Dead build. And um, as a lot of you know, I did a part so I did a couple of part sixes, not many. But it was the glove that started my second glove uh, company, which was Crew Gear. First one was Sinister Hand Productions back in the uh, back in the uh, early 90s, and Crew Gear came about in 2002. But I actually built the first glove for the site in 2000. Between 2000 and 2002, uh, I spent on the first glove, which was the Part Six. I was really obsessed with that glove at the time, and uh, I still have the templates for it for the uh, the original glove. I have the I have half and half. I have uh, half of the original paper templates and. Uh, then half of the, uh, the metal build templates. Uh, usually I do a paper set and then I do a final metal set. Uh, they've been with me a long time. Somewhere along the road I lost you know, the paper uh, stalls and, uh, and uh, vice versa. I, I have the metal stalls and the paper tips, so it's kind of a half and half. But these are the original templates, more or less, um, that built uh, the very first glove for crew gear and the subsequent part sixes, uh, the very few that I created. And these templates are, for whatever reason, uh, among the most accurate that I built right out of the gate, probably because I spent almost two years on this glove. The only thing that I would say is different um, were I to, and should I put it through the official uh, definitive edition screen accurate DESA stage is that I'll be reducing the size, the overall size by about 20% to 25% um, give or take uh, across the board. But the shaping will remain pretty much the same on this. I'll give it a final revisit uh, when, if, and should I do a final DESA on that for my own purposes, for my own collection, what have you. Uh, but for right now, the shapes still hold up, um, certainly to any of the uh, child gloves that I built from the mother glove. And I have pieces of the mother glove here, uh, the actual build glove. Uh, so you'll see some, uh, some bent tips and see how they work. So let's take a look and uh, hope this helps you. And, um, you know, take it for what it's worth. It's just my opinion, but, uh, you know, it does match up pretty well. And I hope it helps you in your build. And uh, if I you know, if I do put it through the DESA process at any point, I will certainly let you know, and you're free to uh, message me for uh, overall dimensions. So uh, this is for Logan Young. Logan, this is my part six overview, and uh, enjoy. All right, as always, coming off my master book reference for uh, my gloves, and coming down to the focal point of the discussion on my very large table. The part six crew gear razor glove uh, from uh, circa 2000, 2002. These are the original temps and the uh, the build tips. And uh, what I, you know, what I can say is, you know, I talked really briefly about reducing the size on this. And yes, I'm going to by about 20 to 25 percent, if only in my own head. Um, certainly if I ever choose to build this this thing again, which it is quite a beast. Um, like all my other gloves that have gone through the uh, DESA stage, um, again, it will be slightly reduced. But other than that, um, aside from, like I said, a minor review, I've looked at this. It still holds up to uh, most of the hero screenshots when it's in build mode. So we'll just uh, we'll say it's pretty accurate at this point. And... Uh, it should give you a very good representation of the glove if you're having any trouble, if you want to take any of my word uh, at its worth. So let's take a look at what's going on. And uh, here are the main stalls. I lit it so that it gives you a pretty good representation, even with the marker on the edges of the actual silhouettes of this stuff. So they're very similar. The first three stalls are very similar. Most of the... Uh, most of the uh, the really fine detail and, and kind of asymmetrical applications are toward the back end, but you can see, you know, a lot of the stuff is going on, and I always do this trick, by the way, if you're not used to flipping things over when you're working with them to see 
how the shapes are really working. It's an animator's trick. I've talked about this. It'll switch your brain's point of view, and you'll you'll be able to see things that you don't readily readily see just with a you know a, a straight on one angled view. Always flip your work over. Anyway, index, middle, and ring, and pinky. You know, I lost the uh, the metal template for that, and I lost the metal templates for these guys during my many moves. But these are the original paper ones. They're very old, and uh, this uh, this set uh, you know built the glove and. Here you go with the tips. I know they look really strange. I'm sure, but uh, we'll talk about that more in a sec. And uh, you know, here are the back plates. This was the first one. This is the second one that I did. And this is just wear and tear, so you can approximate the front end. Uh, this is just a bit. It's essentially the same. This is just a bit more streamlined. Uh, it's a cleaner cut. This one had a little bit of a, you know, a discrepancy on the side. I, I just kind of fine-tuned the, uh, the uh, I don't know, what, what, what we, would we even call these? The swoop, the double swoop, I don't know, the back end. Uh, but it's a pretty straightforward back plate. Um, the real nitty-gritty comes with the sunburst pattern, the bend pattern. It's when it really starts kicking into high gear, into looking accurate. But, you know, this is what's going on. So... Take your grabs, we'll do one at a time. See what you can pull off. Trace them out, see if they work. Uh, like I said, if you want the dimensions, go ahead and email me. Um, your scale looks pretty close. Let's see how these work for you. I mean, obviously, you know, I know how we all feel about tracing off templates and all that. And certainly part of the process of being a good glove builder is doing your own research and seeing what other people have done and making your own judgments from that. I'm just trying to give you a fresh pair of eyes to see how I handled it. I'm not in any way, shape or form saying that this is exactly how it is because this is exactly how it is at the time I built it in my mind's eye. You know what I mean? Um, on the middle, pay close attention to the V notch there. Okay, So we'll do some spin arounds and uh, I'll show you what's going on. Uh, with the uh, front end tips. There you go. Okay, let me, I know these are covered up a little bit by the marker because I trace everything with Sharpies, so um, you can kind of see what's going on. And yes, that's this, um, this snip uh, was done uh, and seemed to hold up. I'm looking at it now. Yeah. You know, it's been a long time. Bear with me on this. I'm going to look at the t I'm going to look at the tip. I think this might have been um, a, not a goof, but I think this don't you know, on this one, this is the ring tip. Go a little bit more uniform. I think this might have been a goof. I'd have you know, let's check it. Let's check it. I'm going to wrap it around. Nope. It's correct. There we go. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> Don't speak too soon, Trav. No, it's a goof. Okay. Keep it a bit more uniform. Whoops, where's my lens? <gasps> Told you. No ego. Here. So I've got it wrapped around. You can see the uh, real tip does poke out. So, but look, I mean, you know, it does work. This is the ring tip. Um, just extend that left notch up. It is offset, but not that much. You dig? Okay. Um, so, now that's going to be a bit bent up now. That's okay. Uh, the middle, yeah. Uh, it's got such... I bring it to the, to the tip, but you can see I've drawn in the uh, V-notch. Because the V-notch on the middle is really, really fine. And you only ever see it underneath the blade. Underneath the actual blade. But what a lot of people don't get on this is it's hard to make out. How can I do this? Um, it's like, you see the dip and how this kind of works? It dips down in the front. So in other words, I wish I had my tripod. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, it's, I take my plier, which I don't even have anymore. Let's take the magic tool. Okay. So, if I'm holding, I don't want to fuck this up. 
let's pretend this is a plier and let's pretend my back my left hand is on the back of this and I take the whole armature of you know the middle and I tweak it down and tweak it down so it's very organic and dips down because uh, the blade actually lays on top and it comes up over a little bit it's very it's very unusual this I spent the most time on the middle than I did anything else I rebuilt this middle like crazy um, let's get some better light on the subject there we go but uh, you know let's do a proper sweep around anyway these are the tips they hold up here's your index let's do a proper because this is going on it's 13 fucking minutes it's gonna take me forever to upload today okay Middle, ring, pinky. Okay, so unfortunately, I don't have <clears throat> I don't have um, any of the blade work. Uh, I could draw it for you. <clears throat> You've got most of them right. It's the pinky. Everybody has, and myself included. It's like a talon that juts out of the out of the pinky. But let me do your sweep around. Um, uh, let's start with the pinky since we're talking about it. Where's some light? I need some better light here. There we go. Okay, bang. No, sure. Right trap here. That seems to be pretty good. Okay, so here's your pinky. Really fun stuff, right? All right. So here's how the pinky kind of goes. What? Trap, come on, man. Aha! Found it. All right? Pinky. Nice! Smooth move. All right, here's the other side. See how the side goes up, All right? And then this side is more squared. Dig? You see how the light's contouring around the bends? Check out the bends. See the dents, okay? That's the top. There you go, it's pinky. Oh, come on, man. All right. Here's the ring. Hi, and I'm gonna hop in the shower in a minute. Yeah, I can be ready in 15. I'll upload this at work. This is the ring. Aaron has the uh, daily news coming. Daily news today? It's the daily news, right? The news. New York Times. Excuse me. New York Times is coming to uh, do a focus piece on Aaron's show, Rocky on Broadway. Really cool. So that's the ring. And the middle, which I actually really love. Love the middle. So fucking weird. Got it? This side more anchored, the other side not. I like to call that the arrowhead. Mark my words. Holds up. We're talking about the part six A hero, Logan. I'm not talking about the, uh, we're not talking about the, um, chalkboard hero. The index. Dig? Got it? There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's tricky. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That big. All right. That's pretty much it, y'all. Okay.